Hello everyone, I am your friend DP Tripathi and in this video we are going to discuss that how we can download the ISO image from internet and also this relevant software in order to burn the same ISO image either in pen drive or in any blank DVD. So before we proceed in detail, let me show you that what are the tools required before you burn the ISO image in your pen drive or in the blank DVD. So first you have to download the ISO image from the internet and you must be aware that where are the ISO image available or you can directly search in Google. So for the convenient purpose I have uploaded the ISO image in my website. So I will be showing you later that uh, how to download the software, relevant software for burning. But first I will show you the process of downloading the ISO image. You can directly go to dptripathi.in and there you can, this is my blog and here you can see that I have uploaded the ISO image of DSpace which you can da download from here and when you click it will ask you to save somewhere so in my case I have already saved it in my computer so I am not going to download just I have explained the uh, the method to download and where you can go and download so I have already downloaded and kept in this folder you can see here this is downloaded and kept here now the another one which we have to discuss that what is the relevant software in order to burn this ISO image in pen drive or DVD blank uh, blank DVD so for that you can directly go to Google and here you can search Yumi multi boot there are other software also which can help you to burn the ISO image in pen drive so this you can download if you are using for window and if you are uh, using for Linux then you can use this software in Linux also so I have already downloaded this software you can see here this software is available here so we are not going to download I have already kept here now the next what you need is you must have one blank DVD of more than 4 GB generally nowadays the DVD comes in the size of 4.75 GB and or you can take any blank pen drive which should be having the capacity of more than 2 GB so I, I assume that I am having one pen drive which is having the capacity of 4 GB and I have inserted in my so you can see I have inserted one pen drive which have, has the capacity of 4 GB or more than 4 GB also you can insert in your pen drive uh, in your computer or laptop wherever you are going to make this uh, USB as a bootable uh, pen drive in order to install the D space ok so now the next process is that you have to start the Yumi software and when you start this software you will notice that it opens the Yumi setup window where you have to agree and then it will ask you to select the relevant steps so the first step is that it is asking which drive you are going to use for installing uh, for uh, creating the, uh, the bootable USB so it is in D drive in my case and I select this one now it is asking that next step to choose what you are going to do so it 
lists all the relevant version of Linux and you can choose any one of them but you have to ensure that you are having the ISO image of same for example I am choosing the Ubuntu so I must be having the Ubuntu ISO image in my computer or laptop before I proceed for the next step but suppose you have customized your Ubuntu for example in our case we have customized I have installed the Linux and in that Linux I have installed DSpace already and that ISO image I am going to burn in USB or DVD so uh, with this software we will not burn the DVD we, in, the, uh, in this uh, particular we are going to discuss we are discussing only that we are going to burn in pen drive so what I was talking about here that you have to choose the this option try an unlisted ISO because after customization for example you have installed Linux and after that you have installed DSpace and when you pack it or you make it ISO image so what it will not detect as a pure Ubuntu it will detect as unlisted ISO so you choose the first option in Yumi and then you have to ensure that whatever the drive you are using it gets formatted before you proceed so that it will not have any data if it is already there in pen drive so I am choosing this will uh, means it will format the pen drive and uh, you have to choose the unlisted ISO and then you have to choose the particular ISO image so you can see here so I am going to choose the same here and this is my ISO image and now I will op click on open so it is listed now and then you have to click on create button so it will ask you to confirm something you just click on yes and then you can observe that it has started creating the USB as a bootable USB with your live ISO image which you have downloaded from internet and what you can do with this ISO I means a bootable device you can directly install in any other computer with the help of this pen drive so in that computer the Linux will also get installed and inside that Linux the D space also will get installed so now you can see here it has finished the process and finally you get the information all finished process is complete and then you click on next and it is asking whether you want to add any more ISO in this drive please remember that for example you have added the D space in your pen drive and if your pen drive is having more space for example you are using 16 GB or 32 GB capacity pen drive so in that case you can add multiple ISO image in the same in single process or else you can add later also but suppose you want to add here for example you have already added the D space now you want to add any other ISO image like Koha or Joomla or any so you can click on S and it will again ask you to choose the listed ISO image and uh, proceed so the process is same only you have to select the different ISO and it will add into that if you don't want to do that then you click on no and finally it will show you that thanks for using Yumi now you have completed the process of creating the bootable USB so using this USB now you can install the DSpace and Linux together in another system so we will be discussing in detail in the next video how to install DSpace live ISO or whatever you have created the USB bootable USB with this bootable USB we will install DSpace and Linux in another system so thanks for watching this video I hope I have been able to make you understand 
the process of creating the bootable USB with uh, li live ISO image and what are what is the software to be used for creating the uh, this bootable USB. So thanks for watching. We'll see in the next video.